it looks like Israeli researchers have achieved yet another medical breakthrough. A Haifa-based biotech firm claims they've developed a treatment that could cure patients suffering from exposure to radiation. The Haifa-based biotech firm Pluristem Therapeutics has announced that its placenta-based cell therapy has the ability to fully cure patients with multiple organ failure. The company uses donated placentas from women who have undergone a C-section to harvest cells to create a cocktail of therapeutic proteins which combat lethal exposure to radiation. The proteins can reverse damage to the lung, skin, bone marrow and gastrointestinal tract caused by radiation exposure. We have been investigating the placenta for the last decade and we have discovered that the placenta cells have unique properties that can help the body to recover after exposure to high level of radiation. And with these cells, we, can, we are injecting these cells to the body's muscles and over there they capture stress signal from the body and they start secreting factors like GCSF or interleukin-6 that will uh, help the bone marrow to recover after uh, irradiation. In January, the radiation therapy was cleared by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration for clinical trials. Pluristem President Yaki Anai said clinical trials have so far shown optimal results if the vial is injected within 48 hours of exposure to lethal radiation. We invested the last 10 years in developing the therapy so it would be very easy to use off the shelf and readily available. We designed it to be simple to be treated in the combat field or in the case of the catastrophe itself. You just have to take the vial, take the cells out and inject it into the patient muscle. So we will be able to treat, or the, the, the agencies will be able to treat a lot of people in short time. Plus, the Israeli placenta treatment provides a new and less expensive option for patients exposed to radiation. The only other available therapy that exists is bone marrow transplants, which require DNA compatibility and are very costly. I wish that our therapy was available five years ago when we had the Fukushima disaster or 30 years ago when we've been to Chernobyl, not mentioning uh, the Second World War, which was a significant exposure to radiation. I believe that if our therapy was available then, uh, all of us could see a much better outcome than it was, act which actually was. So our goal is to develop a defense for, as a countermeasure, biological defense to as a countermeasure for acute radiation syndrome for any uh, radiation uh, event across the globe. It can be either terror attack or, or nuclear melting, but I hope that our therapy will be there. Pluristem has already partnered with Japan's Fukushima Medical Therapy, and American officials have expressed an interest in stockpiling the treatment in the United States in case of a nuclear catastrophe. The company's chairman says a radiation therapy could be a great asset to Israel as well. We are living in an area which have a variety of threats, including nuclear bombs and radiation catastrophe. So we developed the product in mind that those may happen. When the Fukushima disaster happened, it inspired our feeling that we have to do it stronger and quicker, and we develop an aggressive plan in order to bring the product into awareness. And today, with the NIH support and the cooperation with Fukushima Center, we strongly believe that we can bring that product to cure many patients.